Back again another week for the Bearded Bros Golf Show. I'm Rod. And I'm Marcus. Next on the list, we had Rory just kind of talking about his mental health going into the week and needing to take time off after the Masters. We heavily discussed, you know, where he was at, how disappointing he was. Uh, May being Mental Health Awareness Month, I couldn't think of a better time to actually discuss this topic you know i've had a video in the past where we're talking about a golfer who's struggling with mental health it's something that's near and dear to me i think just from a personal standpoint i feel like humans are always kind of on the cusp of you know something going wrong the wrong way taking the wrong bounce and you know just maintaining your own sanity is is a huge part of today's you know struggles and things that we go through so hearing rory talk about it and him needing to Take a step away from golf as he's been the ambassador for the PGA Tour. I a needed break for me. Just I think obviously after the disappointment of uh, of Augusta and then it's been a pretty taxing 12 months mentally. Um, so it was nice to just try to disconnect a little bit and um, get away from it. But you know it's nice to come back and feel refreshed. And you know I think we're on a pretty you know pretty busy run here from from now until after the playoffs. So. Um, you know, I'm excited to get going. I think really hit home for me in terms of hearing him finally say that versus, you know, just feeling like he wasn't up to the task to perform. And I did, I think, reference that there's something mental going on there. And I just thought it was him struggling with the competition aspect, but it seemed to be a bigger issue. What are your thoughts on Rory's mental health and him just being transparent about it and how it affects, you know, the golfer and this being a mental game in general? He just really has had time to come to terms with what's really going on. And, I mean, just commendable in general for him to know and at least be able to understand that. And I feel like if he would have brought this forward a little bit earlier, people would have been kind of like not on his case for missing the RBC Heritage and pulling out of that or whatnot or, you know, what, or missing events from time to time and stuff because – Clearly, you know, if you you're still looking to close it and get the grand slam and you just having such bad moments at the Masters, like it, that stuff, pre- that pressure builds up. And of course, you know, it just adds up and it definitely showed for Rory. I mean, it was just a lot of pressure and I don't know. It's tough. I mean, it's it, the game is so fickle. It's like you, you have to have such a positive mindset anyways to kind of get get through a lot of the bad golf that you play in between the good golf that you are uh, on right. a run with. So completely understandable from any standpoint of golf, whether it be amateur, crappy, or competitive golf. So for him to come forward is, is very respectable and commendable, as I was saying. So, yeah. I think it's something that has to be more at the forefront. I mean, it's still something that's – there's a stigma yeah. around talking about it or admitting – that you're having some mental struggles. I know that, you know, a lot of PGA tour players have a mental game coach um, with them and just talk about this more frequently. And I, I appreciate that, but I also think it comes down to the struggles with leaderships, you know, just leadership in general and people not necessarily knowing what they need to step into a leadership role. There's a lot of pressure on him yep. to kind of be that face and speak heavily about it. And so, um, you know, it's it's very much something that you have to know who you are as a human being before you, you know, entangle yourself and have to be the face of something. Right. Um, shout out to our mom. She says playing on that level is a lot of pressure um, and kudos Definitely. to him in getting the help. So, yeah, you have to be, you know, very aware of that. If you struggle with it, being able to reach out to somebody I say a professional is always the way to go about that. Um, it's a yes, neutral sir. person that doesn't have skin in the game. So kudos to Rory for talking about it, bringing more awareness to it. Um, you know, so if somebody else is out there struggling with mental health, there are resources available to do so. You don't have to go at it alone.